All right, one more national park on our trip from, uh, we left in May, we will be home next week. So and this is gonna be our last national park. And this park came around in what, 19, or 2016, I think it yes. was a lakeshore. It's now an official park. So we thought we would swing on by Indiana Dunes National Park on our way home from the Super Sea Rally. Yes. So we're going to head out to the beaches and the bogs and the, they call them mountains. I think they're sand dunes, but yes. um, they got a really good movie here, by the way. We just watched a, uh, a 30 minute movie. It's a really good movie. Yep. So let's go, uh, let's go play in the dunes. Yes, let's go. Dune Ridge Trail over at, what is this, Kimmel? Kimmel Beach, something like that? Yes, Kimmel um, Beach. So this is our first hike, our first stop here at Indiana National Dunes. And we're gonna go do this trail. It's supposed to be three quarters of a mile. The problem is the trail is all sand and neither one of us like hiking in sand. But we do it anyway. But we'll do it anyway. So <laughs> we're gonna go do Dune Ridge Trail. All right, let's go. Yes, we are at the dunes, but we found forests to go hiking through. Yay. It's still sand. Not fun to hike in sand, but we're gonna head down to the beach when we finish this. So it started off kind of sandy. We got some fairly large trees and forests, and we've got ferns. It's kind of a, uh, a multiple type trail. Oh, wow, we yeah. get to, a little bit of climbing too. Yeah, I mean, a little bit of climbing. Up we go. So lots of different um, vegetation around here. Ooh, that is kind of steep. On the Dune Ridge hike, you got a big bog or marsh out there. There's some trails that go along that marsh that we're gonna go to. All right, wasn't that difficult? Wasn't that long? There's three quarters of a mile, just like all trail says, so. Yay! Um, couple of steep parts, uh, lots of sand, which makes it a little more difficult. Um, Interestingly, lots of different plant life. It changes as you go through yes. there, and you get a good view of the marsh too as you're going along the uh, back edge. So, yes. yep, a little warm up trail. We're gonna head on down to the beach and see what we see down there. Yes, follow us. From the walk from the parking area where we just did Dune Ridge, it is a quarter of a mile walk to the beach on the southern tip of Lake Michigan. Let's go on down to the beach and stick our toes in. We're at Kimmel Beach, and we've definitely got some wave action happening here on the south side of Lake Michigan. There are warning signs all over the visitor center about not swimming because of uh, the rip tides. So we're going to go check out some homes that were moved here in 1933 from the uh, World's Fair in Chicago. They actually moved them over here. And you can tour the insides one day a year, the end of September. And they sell out in April. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to walk around and uh, take some pics. Let's go take a look at some old homes. Can't wait to get down below to the beach and video up. But we're going to go look at that pink one before we head down to the beach. These were homes built as homes of the future. I'm going to see if I can get this. I will let you hit pause on that. So we we're just talking to a gentleman that's doing some work on that one. These are private residents. People live in them. They have a 99 year lease and they can renew or let it go. Those are right on the beach. There's a couple more up here on the other side of the road. They were brought over on barges in 1933 from Chicago. Well, I guess if you're gonna sign a 99 year lease inside of a national park, you gotta expect people to be walking around your house. I just got my feet soaking wet standing here. So 
we got to Mount Baldy to have lunch. Here's our picnic table. There's Angel. After lunch, there's a path that we're going to be able to go climb that. That dune is slowly working its way to this parking lot. Eventually, the parking lot will be under sand. All right, we're getting ready to go to Mount Baldly Beach. It's a short little hike, uh, like 0.9 of a mile. Um, I was just mistaken. You cannot climb up on those dunes. Dangerous. Very dangerous. Those yes. dunes, when they cover a tree as they're moving, the tree rots and creates pockets of air. And just earlier this year, a little kid fell down in one of those holes. Took him eight hours to get him out. He survived. But, um, yeah, so we're not allowed to go up there. And I was kind of looking forward to it. But uh, we're going to go do the beach trail. Let's go. Seems kind of strange that we're heading to a beach hike. And we're heading away from the beach and climbing stairs. But I guess we're going to loop around. Well, I hope this turns out to be a beach trail. It's called a beach trail, <laughs> but we're kind of like going through the woods. Very foresty. <laughs> Very foresty for a beach trail. We shall see. Okay, I guess we did eventually make it to the beach. Look at the color of that water. Standing up above the beach, over here to my right is Mount Baldly that we can't walk on. But, yeah, big, huge power plant over there. But unfortunately, we can't go up there anymore. Stuff. And in this area, there's like three different ge geological um, types of places. There's the dunes, there's the forest, there's the logs, which we're going to go see, and I'm looking forward to that. So it's pretty we're cool. Actually, leaving Mount Baldy right now and heading over to the logs. Yes. Well, you can see Mount Baldy in the back behind the uh, restroom. Okay. Yeah, I wish we could have gotten up there, but I guess safety is better than enjoying our... And your $500 pocketbook problem. Yeah, $500 fine if you caught walking on that. <laughs> I figured it was $500 fee to walk up there. <laughs> no. Um, the hike we just did down the beach, well under a mile, under three quarters of a mile. Um, it's nice. It's nice starting off through the woods. Um, but, you know, it takes you back down to the beach. And we enjoy the beach. It's beautiful. So, add it to your list. Let's go on down to the bogs. All right, we're over at the Pine Hook Bog Trails. Pin Hook. Pin Hook. There's two trails here. This two mile loop that we're about to go do, but at three o'clock, which is in about 35 minutes, there's a guided one to a restricted area that you're not allowed to go to unless you have a ranger with you. Yes. So we're gonna go do this loop here and see if we can knock it out in 30 minutes and be back in time for that. We shall see. If not, we'll just turn around in 15 minutes and come back. Exactly. And take the guided one. Exactly. Okay. And go see carnivorous plants. There's yeah, carnivorous that's, plants. <laughs> yeah, carnivorous plants. That's. Uh, and I asked about the Venus flytrap. They said no, not those. So that'll be interesting. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go do this loop real quick and back in time for the three o'clock tour. All right. All right. So I'm not seeing a whole lot of bog. It's more like a stroll through the woods. But we're um, doing this loop. We'll see how it goes. We're still watching the clock because we want to be back for the guided tour to the restricted area. Yes. What do you think of this trail so far, Range? I like this trail. It's not sandy. <laughs> <laughs> Hiking on sand is not fun, so I'm glad this one's not sandy. Yes. Trail markings. All right, so we only did about a mile of the two miles because we ran out of time. Um, they're already gathering in line with the ranger for the uh, guided tour out into the bogs. Yes. So we're, um, it was a short trial. Uh, we just did a mile out and back. Um, 
It was nice through the woods. It was yeah. kind of pretty, but yep. let's go do the bog. Let's right do the it. other side of the parking lot. Let's go over there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're lined up for the guided tour out into the bogs. Over here we've got Ranger Penny. She is hilarious. This is going to be fun. We're going to go out into the bog. She said there's this many people we got to space out because we'll sink. So we'll see how that goes. All right, we're starting our guided tour into the bogs. The bogs are made from glaciers. And they're anywhere from 3 feet to 60 feet deep. Let's go find the bogs. Looks like we're getting ready to go in. She just opened the gate. Go on in. Okay, the Jackmans own this. Their house used to be on the top of the hill. They would walk down here and pick blueberries. It's not blueberry season, but you'll see some of the blueberries. They are starting to try to clear them out a little bit more. We are in the moat. When we cross over and the railing stops, we will be in the bog. The difference is you're going to start seeing sphagnum moat. Okay, the sun this is the dew glistens in the sun, and we don't have sun today. But I will point it out to you. One thing I have noticed this year, and I haven't gotten a response yet. I've been trying to get plants. some answers. We're at the end of the trail on the bog. Very interesting. Lots of interesting information from Ranger Penny. The most interesting is the carnivorous plants. Well, that was fun and interesting. Yes. That was Pin Hook Bog. Yes. Um, uh, during the summer on Saturdays, three, four, and five, they do a guided tour. Oh, my hair is sticking straight out. Um, it was really interesting. You actually got out and you walked on floats out there over the bog. Um, a lot of good information from the uh, ranger that guided it. Yes. Um, I thought it was great. I think we should uh, have you add it to your list. What do you think, Angel? Oh, absolutely. There were carnivorous plants, which was really super cool. But the boardwalk is plastic and you are on top of a bog and underneath can be the, the plant life and then underneath that can be the water and it's, I thought it was really cool. It's, it's kind of a thinking about it, not a wow, look how cool this is. It's more of a thinking about it type of uh, place, but it was really interesting, very well, cool. To me, the wow factor was the carnivorous plants. Yes, the, me too. The morning dew, the pitcher plant, I mean, plants that are designed yes. to attract and eat insects. That's <laughs> kind of cool. Yeah, it's kind of cool. All right, well, add it to your list. Bye. So now it's the next morning, and I found out we actually can go up, but it has to be ranger led. What's kind of scary about Mount Baldy, over the last, I know I've been watching it for 10 years. I was a volunteer three years, and then I got hired in. It moving. We're witnessing a little and bit of movement. you can see where it's done that all the way. Um, Nathaniel and I were talking. This it was just coming we down. In. We said, look it, you can see it all. We couldn't, we didn't see it moving, but you could see that it had moved. So yesterday we went up here. Today we're being led by Ranger Penny. But yesterday we couldn't get out on top of Mount Baldy. Today we can. With Ranger Penny. <laughs> With Ranger Penny. Here we go. I was following her footsteps. Well, up you know the what? sand to the top of Mount Baldy. Really? Hello! Oh, I see him. A little hog nose. Out! Hog okay, nose snake. snake. Great eye. He was little. He was As we're like climbing. I don't want to Steep right. hill in the sand, not fun. <laughs> now, this is awesome. The power plant, coal, not nuclear. But we're walking along the edge. 
across the top of Mount Baldy. Don't know if you can see it, but about no, maybe not. Tuesday night, I have a beach comer, and it's the city of Chicago out there. Don't think you can see it. I stay down there till eight thirty. There it is. City of Chicago, about thirty miles away. You have Chicago over there, Lake Michigan. There's a sunken ship out there at that buoy. If you can see it. There it is. And Mount Baldy. Alright, Ranger Penny is now taking us down to the beach side of Mount Baldy. So we're heading down there. Well, that was interesting. Yes. When we, um, First pulled into Mount Baldy yesterday. I said, we're gonna climb that hill that you see behind us there. Then I found out you can't. And I made a video saying, sorry, we're not gonna make it up. <laughs> but then we just found out you could take a ranger led course up there. And so we just finished that. And we went up to the top of Mount Baldy there. Um, really cool, some really good views. She talked a lot about the um, vegetation, keeping the wind from blowing the sand away. Yes. Because that dune is actually walking about 10 feet a year, she said. Yes. So, I enjoyed it up there. I did too. It was really cool, really interesting. We don't, we haven't done a lot of things with rangers in here in this park. It's free. You just show up and they teach you about so many different things. And so it's really, really, really fun. Yeah, the the ranger ranger led hikes are free. You still got to pay your entrance fee to the national park. Yes. But, um, yeah, I'm starting to like this ranger led stuff. So yes. we're, we'll try that in the next couple parks. Although we're done with this trip, we left in May, and <laughs> yeah, we're, so we're, we're heading we're home heading tomorrow. Home. <laughs> so um, we'll we'll put this all together. It, it was it was a good trip all together, and I'm sure we'll do an exit video on the whole trip, but. Mount Baldy hike is good. We've got some more hikes to do here in Indiana Dunes National Park. Yes. Let's go do them. Let's go. All right, we're down uh, closer to the West Beach. We're a couple miles from the West Beach. This is Portage Lake and Riverwalk, another section of the National Park. You can see the visitor center behind us. But what's really exciting and where we're heading is out this way to watch some of these waves coming in. As of course it calms down as I start filming this, but <laughs> um, just another section of the lake or the uh, park. It's spread out pretty far, and uh, we're just gonna go hiking around a little bit and see. What oh, here comes some waves. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I just got wet. I just got wet. Alright, let's go. Oh, here we go. Let's go do some hiking. Okay. So we are out on the pier. Let's show you. There's another lighthouse. And if you look way off in the distance, don't know if you can see it. But that's Chicago. And we're technically in Gary, Indiana right now. And you can see the visitor center we were just at. But what's most exciting is U.S. Steel, uh, steel manufacturing, right here next to the park. Well, I got that one. I Yep. That's where we were just at, was out at that, uh, where that orange triangle is. But again, as we're down here doing the river walk, I thought I would one more time mention the fact that we're standing next to U.S. Steel Factory. And we're going to hike up that river a little bit on this side, not on the factory side. 
All right, so I thought I'd finish off this video with U.S. Steel Factory in the background. Um, let's see, this was the Riverwalk and what was it called? Lakefront Riverwalk. The Lakefront River, Portage, yeah. Lakefront Riverwalk. Right. Uh, probably about 15, 20 minutes here. Just walked out the pier and that was about it. Not a lot here. Um, it's had some serious damage from erosion, so it's um, kind of limited where you can even hike. We couldn't even get down to the uh, trail along the River Rock. River Walk. Can't talk today. Um, so we're heading over to West Beach right now. So this one, eh. But I'm glad we stopped by and got to see some of the waves. It's got a little wet and cool water. Yeah, that was fun going out to on the what are they? It's the jetty. A, it's a jetty or a boardwalk, and you can go out there and the waves crash, and that part was fun. That was that was really about it. Yep. And then of course it piqued my interest having the U.S. Steel factory right behind us. So. Yeah, we'd really like to take a tour back there, but it is Sunday, so it is. Sunday. So we're gonna head over to West Beach, see what's over there. All right, so we made it over to West Beach. We're going to be hiking some trails, some of those trails. And I'm looking directly in front of us and I'm seeing a bunch of stairs going up one of those dunes. That's yes. gonna be something we're gonna go climb right now. And hopefully we'll get some really good views of the beach. And we'll see some of these trails and boardwalks that um, we've been seeing in the papers. So let's go do it. Hi, right, we're trudging through sand right now. But look at all those stairs we're about to go up. We're grateful for stairs. And we're grateful for stairs after walking through all this sand. <laughs> sand is not easy hiking. No. Ooh, that's Hard a work. long ways up. Yes, it is. There's the parking lot we just came from. The stairs were coming up, and there's Lake Michigan. Chicago. Coming back down the stairs on the other side of the dune that the stairs took us up and over. Well, we made it to West Beach. Very windy coming out of the north. So we've got some uh, pretty big waves. But it's also a beautiful sunny day on a Sunday. So very peopley. On the drive here to West Beach, I passed a sign that said Chicago. Like 40 miles. There's Chicago. The place is to say, we're not going to Chicago. We're just enjoying the waves and the breeze. They actually look about the same size as it was when we were in um, Oregon Coast. Yeah. All right, that wraps up Indiana National Dunes. We just checked off a uh, new to us park that we've never been to before. And we are heading home. It is the end of August. We left at the beginning of May. And uh, deer season starts September 23rd, so we got to go start getting deer camp ready. Yes, we do. And so we're heading home tomorrow. We'll take two days to get home. So, so anyhow, Indiana Dunes National Park Ainge. Um, we just did a little quick trip here. We were only here for two full days. Yes. Um, I would say West Beach is kind of cool. I really enjoyed the uh, Mount Baldy. Yes. And the guided tours. The yes. bog. Eh, the bog was okay, but. Mm. Um, Mount Baldy was kind of cool, so I, I'm I'm liking the guided tours now. What do you think, Angie? I did too. I enjoyed the guided tours, especially in this park. It's a little bit smaller, um, and it really helps to get some more information about the park, so you can enjoy it more, which is what happened for me. So. Okay. Well, awesome. Uh, you got to add it to your list because it is a national park. It is very spread out, small but very spread out. Uh, like right now, where I think we're only like. 30 or 40 miles from downtown Chicago. <laughs> yes, so, and Gary, Indiana is right and here we're too. And in Gary, Indiana. Yeah. So. Um, but yeah, add it to your list. It's a national park. You'll enjoy it. All right, see you in the next one. See ya. We are home. What was it? 30, almost 34, no. It was 8,400 miles, 978 gallons of diesel. Uh, three and a half months.
It was a wonderful trip. Yes. I don't know if you remember the videos when we first started, but we were hiking in snow this, well, you can't see my hand. We were hiking in snow this deep, um, <laughs> wearing winter jackets and, and enjoying the higher elevations and all the snow. And uh, we're back home. I just finished washing the rig and it's 90 degrees out here. Yeah. Got to think we came home a month too early, but um, I think it was, what, 12, 14 parks, four of which were new for us. Four, yes, the four new parks, which would have been for me, well, Tetons wasn't new for you. Tetons wasn't new for me, but it was for you. But Wind Cave was new, Rocky Mountain was, was well, I've been there before many, many, many decades ago. But, um, but yeah, it was, it was all good. Um, I don't know if I could pick a favorite part. Me neither. It was all so fun and so, just felt so good because we didn't get to get out last year. Right. So it just felt so good to be out and venturing around and running into friends on the way and yeah. uh, seeing family and just seeing this yeah. beautiful country. A beautiful. lot of mooch docking. We did some mooch docking yeah. in Washington, Idaho, Michigan. Um, yeah, we, when, when we can, we mooch dock. Um, <laughs> free camping, free yep. camping. And, you know, probably because it's most recent, the, the Super Sea Rally, I think, was pretty cool. But... I enjoyed all the hiking and, and the snows and the waterfalls, so. Yep, me too. Anyhow, we're home. Um, we'll go back to doing some uh, maintenance and RV uh, modifications videos for a little while. Uh, we got deer camp coming up. We've got bow season this month. We got muzzleload season next month and modern gun in November. Um, that's really about it. Uh, we're talking either Southeast Canada next year or Alaska next year. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. We're working with some buddies and seeing which way it'll work out best. So um, I hope you enjoyed this trip as much as we did. Um, and hopefully you'll come along on the next one. Yes, indeed. I hope so. Happy trails to everybody. Happy trails.